all right uh, this was the case of uh, extensive anterior wall mi and you can see that the led is blocked 100% right here um, i would like to stress on the fact uh, here that the patient uh, did not have chest pain uh, but instead had uh, a history of palpitation uh, he had a history of fatigue and he had a history of shortness of breath since the past 15 days that was sudden and onset um the pain uh, even if it was present was very mild in nature and that occurred about 15 to uh, 18 days back as per his recollection now the patient presented in uh, lb failure uh, we stabilized uh, the patient uh, with uh, lb failure uh, patient also had a left bundle branch block and uh, because of uh, the lb failure and because of mild angina uh, we had to do an angiography uh, his uh, uh, right radial we tried the right radial root first however uh, because of excessive tortuosity as you can see and uh, i do not think they've taken a, a scan the the upper subclavian so yeah so we proceeded with the femoral root and the led you can see 100% right here and clearly you can see 100% uh, blockage here so this is uh, we are doing the wiring uh, we started first with the bmw uh, wire our work horse wire but uh, it was not uh, able to uh, cross uh, then we used a whisper wire and uh, luckily it was able to cross and you can see the lesion has been crossed uh, we part the led by a distal to the lesion and we can see that there is some flow that has started coming as soon as we cross the wire this is a good sign i think uh, pre dilatation uh, is very important in these cases and uh, direct stenting should never be attempted obviously So we're pre-dilating it with a 2 by 10 mm or uh, 2 by 12 mm uh, semi-contact balloon at about 8 to 10 uh, atmospheric pressure. So after the pre-dilatation, uh, the artery has opened up, and uh, we can see that the flow is maintained now. We're doing some pre-dilatation more. This is a 2.25 mm balloon. Some more pre-dilatation with the same 2.25 balloon. now you can see that the artery has opened up quite nicely now uh this is after some uh, nitroglycerin that we given so this is uh, replacing the stent and uh, this is for the stent expansion trying to uh, deploy the stent here so the stent has been deployed after the stent deployment uh, we can see that the artery has opened up quite nicely uh, this was a 3 mm uh, stent And then we are doing some post dilatation with a 3.5 mm uh, nc balloon again doing some nice post dilatation Yes. So uh, we seeing that the uh, proximal end has not opened up that much. So we'll be attempting more post dilatation. We'll be doing post dilatation with the 3.5 mm NC balloon. After that. and now uh, we can see that it has opened up quite nicely the proximal is uh, of the stent also and we are happy with this 
wonderful wonderful uh, artery is opened up quite nicely you can see uh, flow has been very well achieved uh, patient uh, is stable at present no and the patient has been shifted we did it with a femoral root we do not usually use a femoral root but in this case because of a very tortuous uh, artery and because of the lv failure that the patient had so we did not want to waste a lot of time trying to uh, hook the artery and uh, because of the tortuosity so we attempted a femoral root we did a uh, what do you say angio seal and uh, the patient was mobile in 6 hours thank you